Hey everybody, it's Will. It's Amanda. Chapter 9, The Last Inquisitor. <laughs> Court is now once again in session. <clears throat> yes. Thank God I'm back to where I want to be. However, I must say I'm quite surprised at this recent turn of events. And all turn of events. It's an exciting job being a judge <clears throat> for a witch's court. <laughs> to see Miss Kira at the witness stand once again. Frankly, I cannot believe my eyes. Pretty sure I killed you. Oh, no. Floosh. You, um, were most certainly sent to the flames as a witch. <laughs> definitely burned you. Yep, now. definitely. Hey, it's right. I was there, I saw it. She most certainly was. Dean, how? How is she still alive? Is it because she's a witch? Can witches not die? No, she must have used Demir and vanished just in time. It must have been magic. I say, send us straight to the fire! Mary? We'll do it ourselves if we have to! Oh! Mary? Why not? Oh, Dark Law. Enough! A witch must be in possession of Italia Magica in order to use magic. I hate to disappoint you all, but do you see such a thing on her person? I think not! But what? She must have. The girl must have used Demir. Surely you can see that, High Inquisitor. Demir is a spell able to make someone disappear from sight. It cannot make one vanish entirely. And besides, an investigation conducted by the Knights of the Inquisition has concluded that this girl is not capable of using magic. Uh, Kira's like in a coma. Uh, uh. Listen well, Miss Kira. Your existence alone jeopardizes the very peace of Labyrinthia. Yet, given the current situation, it is now imperative that you testify to this court regarding what you saw immediately. Objection. That will not be necessary. What? 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 This girl has already been convicted and tried as a witch in a previous trial. What good could come of her testimony? Objection. Phoenix, yay! But uh, she was found hiding at the crime scene. I'd say that makes her a very important witness. A witness whose testimony we cannot choose to ignore. Hi, Inquisitor Darklaw. I'm afraid your objection is overruled. Wow. Prosecution overruled. By the judge? She's doing something for once? You wish to proceed then? Very well. <laughs> Let us see how much of her story this girl is willing to tell the court, shall we? While she's being mind controlled, not by me, but I mean just by, no, I mean never mind, just try to ask her, yeah, it's fine. She's really brown now, do you notice? I she's, she's like really, she's like monochrome up. muted, but like yeah. her hair is, is too in her eyes. Yeah, she looks way different than her original design. There's no doubt about it, Miss Kira must have escaped through the passage leading under the chamber of fire, and I guess you could say that she got burned a little, but I don't think that's what it is. From the looks of it, the judge doesn't have a clue that escape route even exists. I wish he'd hurry up and get the hint. I'm dying to take this helmet off already. The top of my head really itches. With all that lice she has. Sorry, Maya. Take that thing off now and we're as good as done. Just hang in there a little while longer. Aww. Curious. Very well. Witness, you may begin your testimony. Kira needs, like, some visine, and that's about it. Explain to the court how you are standing here in court today, and why you were here hiding at the crime scene. <sighs> Witness testimony! My role and identity. I am not familiar with this Kira you keep talking about. Uh -huh. I came from the Eldwitch Woods. I came to this town to summon forth the fire dragon and kill the storyteller. Whoa. As it rained, I waited near the bell tower next to the vigilantes for my chance. I was only there to carry out my orders. I don't know anything else outside of that. Uh, oh. <laughs> who, who, you, you came here to kill the storyteller? I like that guy. The spell is free, I guess, now. Yes, 
That was my task. Objection. Keep in mind, this girl was not the one who summoned the fire dragon in the end. That was the accused. As I warned you earlier, there is nothing to be gained from this witch's testimony. Objection. Now hold on. She was still present at the scene of the crime with the intent to murder the storyteller. The defense insists we be permitted to continue with our cross-examination on those grounds. Darklaw's really trying to weasel her way out of this cross-examination. That means there has to be something there. I don't know what's happening. I must admit, I too am extremely interested in hearing what this witness has to say. Defender, you may begin your interrogation. Ching. All right, I think we're just gonna do the usual. Press everything. Hold it. You say you're not familiar with the name Kira, the name that's your name, your name, the name that was given to you, the name we've been calling you by every time that we've seen you. That name. Yes, I've never heard it before. Then why is it above your speech box? Oop. Well, but I say, that is your name, young lady. Honestly, what witchery is this? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I have no name. I am simply a resident of the Eldritch Woods. Nothing more. Eldritch Woods? The very same woods said to house the souls of the witches sent to the flames. Be convenient. Are you a g -g -g ghost? Oh man! Are you telling me they really exist? <laughs> no matter how you look at her, the care up on that witness stand doesn't look like much of a soul to me. As someone who talks to a lot of souls, I'd know. The girl has lost all memory of ever being a flower seller. That is all. If that's the case, then I wonder if she even remembers our run-in back at the marketplace. Um, say, Miss Kira, do you happen to remember me at all? No, I do not know you. I first saw you just now at the bell tower. What is happening? She's been turned into a goldfish. Oh, her memory. She can only remember things that happened five minutes ago and nothing else. P -p Press. Summon forth a dragon and Hold kill it. the storyteller. Jigga what? Did you say fire dragon? Yes, it was all a part of my orders. I was told to come here this evening and wait for the right moment when the storyteller would appear before the people. Only then was I supposed to shout out the incantation as loudly as possible. I mean, Gladwell! Okay, Grandworm! Oh, great beast from the inferno, heed my call, Grandmother, Worm, Grandworm. God, they were all like, I guess we should be glad that we just. Uh, a fire dragon didn't appear. Let the record show that she said Grandworm and no one is being burned alive. Dark is not even. I believe this bears repeating. The girl does not possess a scepter. It is impossible for her to summon any sort of magical dragon. I don't care if it's just like a drug hallucination or. Oh, here's quite. Quite oh, right, hiding. High Inquisitor. He's hiding. I love it. Then why are you hiding beneath the bench, Your Honor? <clears throat> yes, well, it is as I thought then. She could not have cast the spell. You know, the judge could be a shade too. He's got like the exact same cloak. He certainly has a bad enough memory. Just saying. I believe I've made it perfectly clear. This girl is not the Great Witch Bazella. Naturally, the Great Witch is. That girl there. Aspella Cantabella. There can be no other. Hmm. <clears throat> As it rained, I went into the bell tower next to the vigilantes for my chance. Well, they didn't see you. We've established that they're pretty incompetent, though. Hold it right there, Miss Kira. You snuck right past the vigilantes? Yes, that's right. My orders at that time were to... The girl is a witch! 
Oh. Therefore, something as simple as vanishing from sight is child's play. Isn't that right, witness? Yes, that is correct. Uh, hey. Aha! I remember now. Just a few days ago, this girl used that very vanishing spell. Uh, Demir, if memory serves. Well, what are you gawking at, witness? Continue with your testimony. What was that just now? I could have sworn I saw Kira's face turn even paler than normal. I was only there to carry out my orders. I don't know anything else outside of that. P press Hold it. Beep beep. <laughs> Miss Kira, who exactly gave you orders? I cannot say. Or won't say. And why is that? I am not to disclose the identity of the one who has given me my orders. That, in itself, is an order. Hmm. How convenient. I am only supposed to carry out my orders. Nothing more. I do not know anything else. And besides, there's nothing more that I can really do. Nothing more? She can do? What? <laughs> But hold on just a minute. Surely you are capable of using magic. You are a witch, are you not? I am not a witch. What? 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 What did you just say? What? I cannot use magic. She can't use magic. This girl is a witch. Every person in this courtroom and knows that as a matter of fact. This knows it. There can be nary a doubt. Fiddle dee dee. Fi and fee. I don't understand. I don't understand at all why she wouldn't have used. Huh, doesn't look like there's much to work with. Hmm. Even though she just finished explaining everything, I still don't fully understand. Oh man, Nick, you don't think this Kira is actually some sort of crazy magical zombie, do you? I do think that. Maya, you went through the same thing as Kira. Did you become a magical zombie? Oh yeah, I guess not, huh? Luke and I couldn't believe it was Kira when we ran into her in the marketplace. I mean, we thought for sure she was a goner back at the trial. I don't think I'm far off though. This Kira is way different than the old Kira. Looks like she doesn't remember a thing. She's almost like another person entirely. But what if that's just it, Maya? What if the Kira right here, right now, is the real Kira, and the old Kira wasn't? What? Phoenix? The real Kira, huh? Yeah, and that's why I think I'm bound to find something useful in her testimony. Give us a hint. We can do this, Nick. I hope you're ready to slam on some desks because we're going to do some serious pressing here. I'm ready to slam on some desks indeed. Okay. Yikes. All right, what do we have for evidence? Uh, okay, let's see. Let's look at the presentation. We've got a pendant. We've yep. got a footprint sketch. we got okay. the vigilante's report that say the tower was constantly guarded and there were no trespassers, which I think we should present actually to the one where she said she waited by the tower. Maybe? And we also have the sketch that shows the footprints too, don't we? Yeah, I think it's. I think we're not quite ready for that yet, but we have this that we can throw out. Well... The contraption, the flower-covered robe, and the case outline using magic too. That, that what's, that's what seems most relevant to me currently. Do you want to use a hint coin or do you just want to go for it? Let's use a hint coin. We have so many. Okay. We have so many. Let's just eat I mean, it up. I'm not sure where we're going, so do it. Delicious, no. delicious chocolate. We're supposed to press so this We're supposed again? to press this. As it rained, I waited near the bell tower next to the vigilantes for my chance. Hold it. Let's just press it. Let's see what happens. Hold it right there, Miss Kira. You snuck right past them. Let's watch for something here. Something has to happen here. Is 
there anything new going on? I'm waiting for it to say, like, present or something. I mean, present's not an option currently. Wait a second, there's something not right about oh. this testimony. It's just a hunch, but what should I do? Oh, we could press it again. Press further. Weird that we That could... didn't show up last time. Weird. Miss Kira, I have one simple question for you. You stated earlier in your testimony that you snuck past the vigilantes guarding the bell tower and went right inside. Tell me, did you use the spell Demir to get by them? Th that must certainly be the case. But, oh, we had to get the evidence that she said she can't do magic. Ah. Had she not, she would surely have been spotted. Objection. But remember that what she let slip just a moment or two ago. She denied being a witch and stated she cannot use magic. Ah. Blah. Blah. Therefore, if that's the case, then you, Miss Kira, would not have been able to use Demir at all. Interesting. Okay. What a ridiculous argument. What a ridiculous... You're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. This desk is ridiculous. How else would this girl have been able to walk right into the bell tower unnoticed by the guards? Explain that. Objection. I have a better idea. How about we have the witness herself explain it to you? Yeah, that'd be nice. What do you say, Miss Kira? I don't know who that is. <laughs> I am not a witch. And I cannot use magic. Okay. Is that what you were just told to say? You fibby pants. You didn't. I said it. So, so then, exactly how were you able to ascend the bell tower without being noticed? Witness, amend your testimony this instant. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Dark was grinding her teeth over there. What's going on? There's got to be another way she got into that bell tower unseen. But other than magic, I have no idea what that could be. I was wearing the robe of invisibility, so no one was able to see me there. From what, Harry Potter? What, where'd you get that? Did Frodo give it to you? That's a ring, sir. He had a cloak that camouflaged him. Did he? Yep. Oh, well, Harry Wait Potter. a second. Did you say... A robe of invisibility? Yes, that is correct. A robe of invisibility? Surely you don't mean... A robe that can make one vanish from sight when worn? No, that's not what I mean. Yes, that is correct. Oh, that's what I like mean. Like some kind of cloaking device? The judge that, is so dumb. A cloaking cloak? <laughs> the judge. What? Miss Kira, do you have that robe on you right now? Are you wearing it? You can see me. Dummy. But she could probably activate it. Huh? Because... Whoa, her flowers are back. <gasps> that is, I dropped it back at the bell tower. Huh. What the heck was that? Why was Kira looking over at Darklaw when she spoke just now? Hmm. Are you listening to this farce, my lord? Surely you don't. Do not give any credence to this witness's testimony. Especially to this preposterous notion of a robe of invisibility. Yeah, that's dumb. Hmm. Indeed. I must say, witness, that is quite an unbelievable story. Objection! I don't think it's that crazy, Your Honor. What? If something like magic can exist, the chances of a robe of invisibility being real are pretty high, wouldn't you say? Objection. If such is the case, then how about you put your evidence where your mouth is? Prove that this robe of invisibility exists. Take a bite out of it. P -p 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 Prove it? I can't do that, I'm just a lawyer. Hmm, what say you, Defender? Can you prove to the court that the robe of invisibility does, in fact, exist? <gasps> Can you prove it? Look at the court record and see this. Flower has stuck to rain-soaked patches. I think it's this robe. Is it this robe? It could be. Let's show off the robe. Do you want to prove it? Let's prove it. Yes, Your Honor. 
The defense believes it has evidence to prove the robe's existence. Why am I not surprised? A ridiculous defender only begets ridiculous arguments. I've got to admit, an invisible robe does sound pretty far-fetched, even for Labyrinthia. But, if there's even the slightest possibility this evidence is right, then I've got to try it. You think it's the robe? i got to know how it tastes. Think it's the robe for sure? I'll try it. No. Very well, defendant. Please show the court this evidence. Show us the piece of evidence that proves the existence of this robe. You really think it's that? I'm just going to throw it out. Take okay. That. Oh, you totally got it. There was, in fact, a robe dropped and left at the crime scene tonight. A robe? Miss Kira, that robe of invisibility that you mentioned earlier wouldn't happen to be... this one right here, would it? Objection! How ludicrous. You are trying to tell the court that is the robe of invisibility? I don't know if you've noticed, but it's not invisible. It's, if it's really a robe of invisibility, then how is it we can see it right now? Dirty white spots and all. Dum dum. It's covered in a flower. Ah, 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 ah. Well, she's kind of got a point there. Oh, hey. What if the robe actually disappears when you wear it? Give it here, Nick. Watch and wonder as Maya the Magnificent disappears before your very eyes. What? She put it on. So, are you amazed yet? Am I not amazing? Am I not in a giant maze? Is this not... Where am I? What's happening? <laughs> I regret doing this. Yeah, I'm amazed at how totally ridiculous you look in that. Hey, what gives? This thing must be busted or something. I didn't disappear at all. Hmm. Well, that's not it. No. Tonight, at the bell tower... I was wearing that robe. Oh, what did you say? <laughs> order. I said order. But, 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 how is that possible? The robe did not disappear at all just now. Duh. That's because of the white powder on it. It's usually not that dirty. Ah. Oh, you mean these spots here? Please don't tell me. Oh, yeah. Patty totally unloaded an entire bag of flour onto those nights, remember? Not to mention, it was still raining when we were up there. The flour must have gotten nice and wet, so it stained the robe. Say, what if we try washing the flour off? Ah! There is a small water fountain at the edge of the square. Head there right now and wash the robe so that we can get to the bottom of this. Quickly now. Wash it. Wash it. Wash the robe. I will watch you wash the robe. The most exciting part of the entire game to date. Laundry. I'm ready. We're doing our laundry. Do you have anything else? Should, can I throw in some whites? Can we just... No? Okay, later on. Because I've got some... It's fine. All right, this shouldn't be too hard. Take notes, Nick. This is how you do the laundry. I hope we have a laundry puzzle. Filthy, filthy, filthy man. See? All you have to do is throw the robe into the water, like so. That's how you do laundry. And it's ruined, because the water ruined the robe. It was velour. Wait, what? So do you see anything, Maya? Th that's just it. I don't see a thing. It disappeared. Grab it, you silly. What? Oh, careful. Oh, man. Stop. <laughs> I watched the 3DS, too. Good job. I frantically took a close look at the water in the fountain. Why are you narrating in first person? But the robot actually vanished without a trace. Right there inside the fountain. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Robe was dry clean only. <laughs> Defender. What is the meaning of this? How could you have lost such a vital piece of evidence? You piece of garbage. Get out of my court. Uh, Your Honor, it wasn't on purpose, trust me. I wish I knew how it happened. I can't believe it. The robe actually disappeared from sight. And then and then I didn't bother just sticking my hand in and yeah, waving it around and pulling the robe out. Get it. Um I don't quite know what you're talking about. I can still see the robe just fine. 
Huh? What? How crazy. Look, it's right here, see? N no, Miss Kira, I really don't see because there's nothing to see. What? So, is that how it works? Putting the robe on makes you disappear completely from sight? But from the looks of it, only Kira is able to actually see the robe itself. It is not just me. It's all inhabitants of the Eldritch Woods. All of us can see the robe. Okay. The Eldritch Woods. Our village lies deep within the recesses of the forest, in a world much different from this one. That's where I live. As long as we obey the law of the land, we are allowed to live there. I knew it. They obeyed the law. There's definitely something different about Kira compared to the rest of the townspeople here. For the time being. Seeing as only the witness can see the robe, we will cover it in flour again for the sake of visibility. Okay, we're... In <sighs> okay, makes we're invisible, worn by the inhabitants of the Eldritch Woods, visible only to them. That's cray-cray. But there's still one thing bothering me. Just one? Just the one. Miss Kira, your robe was found on the middle floor of the bell tower, the same floor where we found my client. However, you were hiding on the uppermost level of the bell tower. You testified a long while ago that you dropped your robe, but I have to wonder, what exactly were you doing there on that top floor? Hmm. It would seem there is still much we must ask this witness. What say you, High Inquisitor Darklaw? Oh, she mad. Tis the Inquisition's duty to follow my lord's decision on such matters. I have no objections. Very well. Witness, you are hereby ordered to continue with your testimony. Tell us what happened between your sneaking up to the top floor of the bell tower and tonight's most terrible crime. Yes, okay. Yeah, no, I do it. Okay, yeah. What did happen on the top floor? I was waiting on the middle floor of the tower. I started to turn around, but I was too late. They attacked me from behind. There was nothing I could do. My arm was restrained, and the attacker covered my mouth. What? As I struggled to get away, I think I managed to pull something off of my attacker. The necklace. That's when I lost consciousness. I woke up to find myself next to the bell on the top floor of the tower. What the what? Whoop, witness. So did Dark Law attack Are you saying... I, I think so. Someone attacked you while you were in the bell tower? Yes. That is correct. But who? I, I don't know. They attacked me from behind, so I couldn't see who it was. Hmm. So you were unconscious the entire time after that? That's why... I wasn't able to complete my mission. But even if I hadn't been unconscious, I couldn't have done anything trapped high up in the belfry like that. Hmm. I wonder if that weird contraption we found there was used to move Kira up to the belfry. At least, I can't see any other way she could have got up there. You heard the witness. She was locked up in the belfry of the tower. In other words, she couldn't have had anything to do with tonight's events. Therefore, there is no need for this utterly useless interrogation. Objection. Not so fast. The witness also testified that someone attacked her tonight. Defender, are you implying that this attacker could have been Bazella? No way. I cannot say for certain, Your Honor. Regardless, the defense requests we be allowed to cross-examine this witness. Request granted. Now then, Defender, you may begin your interrogation. And here's where the fun begins. Let's see if we can coax this mysterious second witch out of hiding. All right, Kira. I was waiting in the middle floor of the tower, started to turn around, but I was too late. Chris. So you weren't able to catch even a glimpse of your attacker? Is that right, Miss Kira? Yes, that's right. Not even a teeny bit. They attacked me from behind, after all. 
Did I just hear correctly? It sounds like she hesitated in answering. Hmm. By the way, may I ask why you turned around, Miss Kira? Wh what What do you mean? Well, it's just that you said you suddenly tried to turn around. Something must have really grabbed your attention to make you try to turn around so suddenly. Also, wasn't she hidden by the cloak? Uh, I guess. Which only other people in the woods can see. Dark Law could see her. Drop the uh, stylus. Drop the stylus. Whoops. I don't remember. That's a good theory, though. Uh, I do think I heard a sound come from behind me. You're saying that you heard something and that's what made you turn around? Y yes But I, I don't have any recollection Of what exactly that was Hmm Lucky Dark girl Dark girl is not happy. Lucky girl 